So what's up you guys, how you guys doing? I just want to talk a little bit about the Flint water supply and it's this thing been going on for like two years now maybe two or three years maybe more than that but it's just not getting national headlines because now people want to make it a problem and I want to look at really more why is it a problem now because it's been going on for years and for you guys who don't know I'm from Michigan like I'm so much from Michigan my area code is eight or my phone code my phone area code is a uh, 810 so trust me I know all about the Flint water supply and all this stuff and how really these pipes wasn't kept up and a whole bunch of other stuff now I don't want to go too much in depth about this because I'm sure people already know what's going on but um I just want to talk about how this stuff been going on it comes from corruption of these crook these crooked politics from Flint and Detroit I mean Detroit and Flint is kind of like hand in hand like some people act like it's a rivalry or whatever like you know Detroit is the hardest Flint is the hardest really I don't really care 313 810 got love for all 586 all that all them zip codes is like it's all the places I used to be around not too much Flint but you know still I've been there from time but anyway what I'm saying is that this stuff been going on for two or three years and it should have been looked at a long time ago and now it wouldn't be up to this catastrophic level same thing happened a couple years ago in Detroit but I think they shut their water supply off or was it light supply they shut them off same thing that's because people don't care about people the higher ups do not care about us people or lower people us poor folks whatever you want to call us unless it's their own benefit mayor's been putting money into different things I don't want to say I don't know what thought they've been putting it on to because I'm not in Michigan anymore but I know it goes on it's one of the things because you know I have family up there still but mayor's been putting different um, money different um I cannot think of the word you guys know the word I'm thinking of uh, anyway different insurance different funds that's the word I'm looking for into um, things that don't even really matter but things that matter like water electricity and stuff like that no houses so they don't put the money into there's so much banned houses in Detroit and Flint it's unreal but no one cares about it because it's something they don't want to build up Michigan as a whole that's why we have this thing Detroit versus everyone everybody it's not just a Detroit thing it's a whole Michigan thing because people do not care about us and we have to fight all the time for these di different type of things so I want to wrap this video up I don't want to say too much things about it because I know a little bit of it just from he said she said I don't know what the news been saying too much I don't know what all they've been showing you guys for I can't really talk about it but I just want to say Rudy's video is saying that it's been going on for years and it's one of the good things we gotta keep fighting for because if we don't keep fighting don't keep talking about these different things that happen and nothing will get addressed people will just share over it or whatever and act like nothing goes on so that being said share love and spread love and peace keep fighting keep making these people actually care about us because we are people too all right peace y'all